all right guys uh, welcome back to the best crypto channel around the world my name is ish today's video is gonna be about durable goods the survey that is coming out today today is what today uh, it's my, it might be coming out tomorrow uh, tomorrow is uh, the 22nd of March March 22nd 2023 so uh, the topic today is gonna be about durable goods you know and I, wa I want to define what durable goods are and how you can use those reports the, 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 the reports from the US Census Bureau to invest as an investor as a gambler in the stock market you gotta read those reports and then you make a decision based on those reports so guys before I get into the details of all these videos of, of all these uh, the durable goods and all that stuff I want you to subscribe I want to hit at least a thousand subscribers by this month by the end of this month today is the 21st of March so that means by the end of March we want to hit a thousand subscribers so anyway let's get into the video since you have subscribed and thank you for subscribing so let's do this durable goods what are durable goods durable goods are goods that last for more than three years so we're gonna give examples of those durable goods examples are like cars you know um equipments that they use in uh, factories in, and and, and uh, industries you know like big equipments those those goods that can last more than three years if you buy a fridge like a, a refrigerator you know it lasts for more than three years if you buy a car if you buy a computer like a laptop or a desktop it's gonna last for more than three years so those are the durable goods I'm talking about so as an investor as someone who gambles into the stock market who buys stocks who invests in stocks you gotta read these reports if you don't read these reports you're not gonna get nothing you're not, you're not gonna know what's going on remember I'm not a financial advisor but these are techniques that are used by professionals to um, to make money and you know like think about it if, if these professionals have lots of capital they have lots of capital inside of them they have lots of they deal with a lot of investors you know venture capitalists and all that stuff they have such so, so, so much more money more money so when they read these reports they know how the economy is doing if you see the demand because um, when the US Census Bureau brings out those reports they bring out those reports every month a number of people don't even care about what the U.S. Census Bureau, uh, you know, reports mean. You know, it's only those big guys, money-making guys, that read those reports. They know what uh, those reports mean. You know, and there's a reason why they even put those surveys because if they were useless, then the U.S. Uh, Census Bureau should have been doing those surveys to know what's the demand. Is the demand up for those uh, durable goods or the demand is down? So for an investor you want to read these reports and when you see the demand for those durable goods is good that means the economy is doing well if you see the demand is low for those durable goods that means the economy is not doing well so you make a decision of investing based on those on those reports you know on low or high demand you know what i mean and i want you guys to understand this that um when you're making a decision don't just make a decision based on one report, a month, a monthly report. You, you read at least six months reports. You see, you say, for example, starting in uh, October last year, you read those reports. How are the durable goods being purchased? How are, what's the demand for those durable goods? And then you see if those fridges are being bought so much, if those cars are being, or, or those, those buses are bought so much. So ah, should I invest in these goods? Should I invest in this stock? You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, I, I, I don't like, you know, prolonging the video making the video so long that more than 10 minutes so I want you guys to understand that it's very important to read those reports the, 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 the topic is about durable goods durable goods you know what I mean durable D U R A B L E durable goods so I, I gotta go I hope you guys have got something from uh, from this um i know someone is listening to me is like this jackass what is, what is he talking about i know you don't you do you can't know i'm not a financial advisor i'm not advising you to invest your money and lose it or or, or gain it but I'm, I'm making a video for those people who are interested in understanding the way how the world works you know what i mean and um for those people uh who have got something from this video i hope that you will subscribe to my channel. I hope that you will like this video. I hope that you will 
you know uh, click on that bell that way when I upload a video you can always know that I have uploaded a new video you know so it's it's, it's 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 not it's not money it's not like I'm not asking for money to you know for you to just subscribe to this channel you know what I mean it's, it's just absurd that people would gain something from you like I'm saying you, you didn't know what a durable good is I just defined a, a durable good for you so you you gain something from me but you're not giving me anything just a click of a subscription so guys I hope you guys are, are gonna everybody that is looking at this video is gonna subscribe it's gonna click on that subscription button anyway guys I hope you have a nice week and I love you all see you next time bye bye